Today we have another South Park episode. Today we have South Park. I, get, I think that's how you said it correctly. Uh, yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into this episode. Let's go. Mrs. Cartman, we have had it with your son's behavior. Okay. Uh -oh. Little <laughs> Billy Turner is now being treated at the hospital. What? Eric, why would you do such a thing? I'm sorry I handcuffed Billy Turner's ankle to the school flagpole. You what? know that's not the point. Okay, I'm sorry I... And then he's saying it so nonchalant like it's okay what he did. Like, nobody but Cartman can, can say it that way. <laughs> Do something that bad, then say it in that way. Like, nobody but Cartman. Cuff Billy Turner's ankle to the school flagpole. You what? know that's not the point. Okay, I'm sorry I handcuffed Billy Turner's ankle to a flagpole and then gave him a hacksaw. And then told him I had poisoned his lunch milk and that the only way he could get to the antidote in time would be to saw through his leg. That's what? very naughty, Eric. Well, he called me chubby. <laughs> we have tried at this school to make Eric understand that there are boundaries, okay? But frankly, okay. we believe his behavioral problems start at home. I uh -oh. know. I know he's out of control, but you don't know what it's like. Uh-oh. <laughs> wow. Come on, Eric. I'm sorry. Get together it's for just your mom, man. He seems to get worse every day. <laughs> he just never listens. <laughs> <laughs> Look at well, Kyle nice going, asshole. You made my mom cry. <laughs> no, you did. It's not him. It's you, Eric. I don't know what to do with you. Sure you do. You're a great mom. <laughs> Who's got the greatest mom in the world? I do. My mom is number one in my heart. <laughs> hey, at least she got her back. <laughs> she got her back in that way. I mean, he's, he started a song off and she about to finish it. Sound like. It's crazy, though. I do. I do. My mom is number one in my heart. It's true. <laughs> my mom's the best. Have you ever heard of a show called Nanny 911? What? <laughs> They're every parent's worst nightmare. Get up, I hate you, I hate you. Kids completely out. Okay, so it's about to be like one of the people that come in and try to help the child and the parent at the same time. I forgot. I, oh, that, I think that, that that's what the name of the show was actually. For real, for real. I, I, I feel like I've seen that before. I heard of before. I think that's the name of it though. Ninety nine one one. Control. Look, I'm skating. I'm skating. It's the time to call ninety nine one one. We've gathered a team of world class nannies to help families in crisis. Okay. What the? Tonight. You get Carmen. Mom, I need another energy drink. This eight-year-old son of a single parent what? just won't behave. Wir müssen die Juden abschlachten. They are Carmen like Hitler. <laughs> Let's continue. And Nanny Stella is selected to set him straight. It's time for Nanny Stella to show Eric Cartman his ways are not going to be tolerated anymore. Uh oh. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Playing the video game. Mom, are you deaf? Somebody's at the door. Yes, I think it's the nanny, Poopsikins. Uh-oh. Killer, I'm gonna be on TV now. <laughs> Hello, I'm Nanny Stella. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Please come in. Okay. And you must be Eric. Mom, I want a Twinkie. Uh, All right, dear. Twinkie. Hold on, Mrs. Cartman. There are going to be some rule changes around here, Eric. First of all, no video Wait, did games. Mom, and... Did his mom say okay when he said he wanted a Twinkie? Wait, what? Oh, thank you so much for coming. Please come in. And you must be Eric. Ma'am, I want a Twinkie. Uh, all right, dear. Hold on, Mrs. Cartman. There are going to be some rule changes around here, Eric. First of all, no video games until chores are done. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh -oh. serious. Let's put down the video game and go to the kitchen. No, thanks. I'd rather not. Right. Then I'm going not. to have to take it. <gasps> what the hell do you think you're doing? Come on. Okay. This video game is going right here on the counter until we've done some chores. Stop trying to bogart it's my Xbox, you fat bitch. <gasps> All right, that's it. You're going to time out. <laughs> time out? Whenever you are naughty, Eric, you are going to sit on this stool for five minutes. And what exactly keeps me on the stool? It's the time out stool. You can't get down until the time is up. Well, <laughs> then, I'll just have to stand right here. <gasps> <gasps> He spit in my mouth! Yeah, it's best to avoid his level. All right. What? You can do his mom the same way? Oh, no, nah, this dude is outrageous. Come on, man. I thought he would have slapped her. This dude's... 
Mais... This before. We just need to use psychology on him. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Eric, can I just talk to you for a quick second? Why are you so angry? Because you took my Xbox. Is this about more than your... <laughs> the TV says phony <laughs> instead of Sony. <laughs> I said to put that in there. Game, are you feeling angry at me because you think I'm here to change your life? Well, yeah. And you're feeling like I have no right to come in and tell you how to live. Okay, so I'm in a music yeah, plan. I guess so. See this? You have to take the time to talk to your children about their feelings. What else are you feeling, Eric? Well, I'm feeling okay. confused. Because okay. I don't understand why you became a nanny. <laughs> Me? Well, because I love children. Like you. Right, but if you love children so much, how come you're not a mommy? <gasps> oh, I just never had kids. Oh, you foul. Why not? He didn't know where it hurt. It just didn't happen. You're sterile, is that it? Man. No, that's too convenient of an excuse. Convenient. The truth is, nobody ever wanted to have babies with you. Isn't that it? Carmen is foul, Always man. Always the mom's maid, never the mom. It must be hard on you, knowing that the years are ticking away, the friends all getting married, and all the while, your uterus slowly shriveling away. It's the uterus shriveling away. He's foul, totally man. He's ruthless, man. Oh, you, you, you little bastard! Uh -oh. How dare you! Eric Naughty! What kind of monster would you- Yes, let the anger come! This child's behavior is totally unacceptable! Okay. But there's no child too tough for Super Nanny! Let's see how she does. Three days later, she quit. Oh, goodness, she went to the mental hospital. I'm afraid Super Nanny is in a deep state of mental psychosis. Oh, goodness. What I, do you I, mean? Tell you, you I mean, she spends most of her time sobbing and eating her own excrement. What? <gasps> he made a <laughs> From hell! It's from hell! Oh dear! What? I don't know what else to. Cartman did. Cartman did uh, knocked out two nannies that quick. Within th four days, three days, four days. Man, who can help him? Oh, about my son's behavioral problems. We've been through every nanny reality show on television. Wow. Well, there is one more show you could still try. Caesar Milan. Caesar Milan. No dog is too much for me to handle. I rehabilitate okay. dogs. I train people. I am the dog whisperer. Dog whisperer. <laughs> well, he's just out of control. I mean, he never listens to me, and he pretty much runs my life. Okay. So the child needs to learn that he's not the most important person in the house. You can stop talking behind my back and write. As strange as this may sound, this may work, though. This one may work. I'm just going out on a limb here and say this one may work. Okay. See, I'm not looking at the child, I'm not acknowledging the child, I'm just letting the child know I'm not interested in him. Not interested in me? See, the child thinks your world revolves around him because wow. it does. Because everything he does gets a response from you. Yeah, well, I don't see why... Hey. Don't look at the child, just keep looking at me. Is that why it's called tss? Cause he, every time he touches, it's gonna tss? I know this, dude. I, man. So, you gotta love South Park, man. Let, let him know we are having a conversation. Man, this guy doesn't... Ah, quit it! What is that you're doing? Dogs show their dominance by nipping each other on the neck, but it works equally well on the child. What? I just use two fingers, nip at the child's neck. Doesn't hurt the child, just let him know I am dominant. Look, Mexican, if you really think that you can... <laughs> knock it off! See, I'm not validating his bad behavior with either negative or positive response. Oh, that's very interesting. I think the first thing we need to work on is getting the child some exercise. He's fat and he has all this pent-up energy that we need to <laughs> let him burn off. Do you take How many times are you to chop him? No, I don't. Come on, take your son for a walk. Oh my goodness, man. I know he don't got carbon on the leash. Bro, South Park is different, man. Man! You're stamming the little. Why don't you try it now? Take your son. I'm serious, people are seeing me. Good, just keep your confidence, shoulders back, eyes straight ahead. Can't you see I'm unhappy right now? Man! <laughs> good, Miss okay, Carmen, Mom. very good. This is a good episode. This is a great, great episode. I was not expecting that sound to be coming from him carping like that. But man, that segment was great, man. So far, let's uh let's continue. What I've done is I've brought over some Kentucky fried chicken. Oh man. Ew, Colonel? Colonel. I'm going to eat first because that is what the pack leader does. Give give me the chicken. G give me some chicken. <laughs> what are you doing? I want chicken! Give me some goddamn chicken! I am not going to acknowledge the child's attempt at aggressive, dominant behavior. Now you eat the chicken. 
Mom, give me, give me some chicken. I want some chicken, Mom. We won't reward him until he's in a calm, submissive behavior. Okay. God damn it, I am not a dog. This give works, though. Give, give, give me the chicken. I want the chicken. Chicken. Give me the chicken. Give me the chicken. Give me the chicken. Give me the chicken. We need him to become relaxed and submissive. Submissive. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. I'm cool now. May I have some chicken, please? Oh, very good, sweetie. Oh, no, now he's lying. You can tell from his stance he's still aggressive dominant. Suck my asshole, Taco Bender! Taco he Bender? God damn it, you can't stand here and eat KFC in front of me! Now hand it over! You can't do that to me! God damn it, did you get him? <laughs> what? I'm not being aggressive, I'm being dominant. Wow, I have a lot to learn. Mom, I'm serious. This has gone on long enough. Get that guy out of here and give me a piece of chicken. That's how you want it, bitch? Fine! <gasps> I hate you! I'm running away! Oh, dear. Man, Carmen just called his mom that. Come on, man. This guy, man. Carmen is a wild dude, man. That's crazy. It's okay. This is all part of the dominant struggle. But what if he does run away? Let him go. He'll be back. <laughs> Pretty big news. Ran away from him. Yeah, my mom just... Doesn't care about me anymore. So they don't even down. care about him. She didn't even they don't try even to stop care. Me. It's gonna be tough living on my own. They don't Another care. Guy, somehow, I can't stay here. <laughs> Maybe you didn't See? hear me. I ran away. I don't have anywhere to sleep. I'm out on the streets. You're not staying at my house either. <laughs> All right, that's fine. But I'll crash with you. No, my parents won't let me bring homeless people home anymore. Homeless people home anymore. Well, what do you guys expect me to do? Stay at Kenny's house? His family's totally poor. I'm not staying with poor people. All right, I'll stay with Kenny. Let's go, man. Thank you. Oh, well, <laughs> you. <laughs> I guess now we see just how supportive friends can be. When the chips are down, you won't even lend a hand. I'll just go sleep on the street somewhere, out in the cold. Probably get mugged and gang raped by some minorities. See, Carmen, man, Carmen burned all his bridges, man. He talks crap to everybody, but then when he in the situation, nobody wants to help him, man. <laughs> it's crazy how it be sometimes, man. Hey, it happens. I ran away from home. I just, I really need the support of my best friend right now. Best friend? Who's your best friend? <laughs> you are, Jimmy. We've no, always been not. best friends. We know everything about each other. I can't believe he went to Jimmy's house. Well, he, he really don't have no, any other resort, so. What's my last name? Uh-oh. God damn it. <laughs> we just didn't walk off. Craig, dude. Okay. I ran away from home. You're the first person I came to. I knew you'd take me in off the streets. What? But I hate you. Should that really matter at a time like this? Should that matter? Oh, wow. Look at Carmen. It's bullcrap. I've come back, but there's going to be some changes around here. What? Look what I did, Eric. I learned how to make Sumier paintings. I'd almost forgotten how artistic I was. That's super interesting. But I've been out living on the streets for almost four hours. He said he's hungry. What should I do? Well, let's feed it. Feed it. That's called a common is Skin this chicken, boiled vegetables, and salad? This is just like Auschwitz! This is more aggressive, dominant behavior. Don't nurture it. You see, you are calm, assertive, and in control. Look at Carmen. Oh, oh my gosh! See, this is the behavior we've been looking for. This is a <laughs> relaxed, submissive this state. Is He's for. never done this before. Good, now you can reward the behavior with praise and attention. I love you very much, Poopsikins. Your mommy's sunshine. Now you can give him a Good. This is really good. Now try a command. Did he just turn Carmen into a dog? No way he did. What? Now he gets a snack. Oh, he's been amazing, Caesar. He got an A on his last spelling test and a B plus in history. Okay, he's losing Carmen. weight and he's doing what I tell him. That's great. The best part is I'm not letting him boss me around anymore. I could have never come out and had a nice lunch on a Saturday afternoon with a friend before. Good, Miss Carmen. Sounds like you're treating your son like a son and not like a friend. There's just one problem. He still fights me every step of the way. I feel like he's what? doing what I tell him, but that inside he's still the same angry, spoiled child. Don't worry. When you correct the behavior, eventually you will see a change in the personality. Okay. Oh, Caesar, I'm so happy to have you in my life. Uh oh. What? Look at Guys, listen up. I really need your help this time. Look at his hair. I've thought about it a lot and have decided I have to kill my mom. Would you have killed Hitler if you had the chance? All right, now here's the plan. 
I oh, wow. Last night I will sneak out of my room and leave the house, leaving the back door unlocked. You guys come into the house at 10.30 p.m. sharp, having given me enough time to get down to Perkins to be seen by everyone there. And then all four of you go upstairs to kill my mom. What? We are not killing your mom. Well, I can't kill her. I'm too obvious a suspect. There's no way this is going to go through. You just had to humiliate and degrade me with your ruse. Dominate my life anymore. Goodbye, mother. Come on, Carmen. Wait. Maybe. Maybe I don't have the right to kill my mom. Exactly. Stop. No. She's my mom. I can do whatever I want with her. Conscious coming it's in. More important, I live the way I want. She isn't an object you can own. She's a human being. She isn't an object I can own. She's a human being. Ow! Get her! Ow! She's making you suffer! Stop. <laughs> Maybe all these changes are good for me. Maybe the world doesn't revolve around me. It doesn't. <gasps> what? Why, Eric, you made your own breakfast. Yeah, Mom, it's okay. It's grapefruit and lean ham. And you're studying? Grapefruit school? and lean ham. Well, you told me I had to review my homework before class started. Oh, Eric, I'm very proud of you. Th okay. Thank you. I Thank love you, you sweetie. Okay, hey, mom, you're embarrassing me. Jeez. Grapefruit and ham. Caesar, I'm so happy you're back. How is the child doing? Oh, he's amazing. I think the change in personality happened. He's doing things for himself now. And That's crazy. He just wanted to kill you last night, but now he's a whole different person. That's wild. Seems to be accepting it. I've lost a best friend, but I've gained a son. That's much healthier for him, and when he gets older, he'll be. Yeah, able you gotta treat him like your son, not your like not your friend. I I agree. Friend too. You're the best, Caesar. And to show my good, I've got two tickets for you and me to see Madame Butterfly this Friday night. Okay. No, my work is done. I've got to get back to Los Angeles. Oh, oh wow. But I thought we were becoming friends. No, not really. You're just a client. Well, good luck. No, not really. Just a client. He just curve her. He just curve cart my mom. What? We gotta go. He just friends on, not even friends on it. I cleared up the table, mom. I'm gonna go upstairs and make my bed now. Eric, how would you like to go with me to see Madame Butterfly Friday night? Uh oh. No, that's okay. Besides, I told Stan and Kyle we could work on our science project then. Well, what if I took you to Kentucky Fried Chicken afterwards? Oh, here we go. And then we'll go to Target, and I'll buy you a Mega Ranger. Here we go. Come on, man. Could I? Perhaps have two Mega Rangers? Oh my yes, goodness. Darling, you can have whatever you want. What? That's it for the episode. South Parts. So I'm guessing at the end, I guess it's saying like Carmen outsmarted her by being by acting real, real good and in the end. So dude, I guess she, his mom was so vulnerable because she didn't have any friends and she thought she had a friend with uh What's his name? Uh, I can't even think of his name. But she, she, I guess she was like vulnerable. So she was vulnerable to Cartman because he, she thought she had a friend, but it turns out he, he really didn't even care about her. He just cared about this, this TV show, really. Um, yeah. So I guess you could say he kind of outsmarted her. I guess you can say that. Um, that was wild, man. That was a great episode. He had Cartman like a dog, really. To in my opinion, that was crazy though. But uh, yeah. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hope y'all had a great day, man. Till next time. Peace out.